Right. I went on a date. I asked someone on a date. If you're wondering why I'm late, it's not actually my fault. I was on time. But there was a man who came to my house to fix my boiler. This morning, I was like, I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna groom. I'm gonna do the video. I'm gonna go to bed. What happened was, I put the shower on, right? And all the cold water was coming out and I didn't know it was cold. So I got all like unclothed and such. And I literally bounced off the shower. Like I, I've never moved so fast in my life. It was like I was a bouncy ball for just a split second. It just went boing, and it wouldn't fix. And I called the hotline and they said it was my card and I couldn't get a card all day. I went from shop to shop and none of them had the card for the, my specific boiler. The top up card became an issue. Everywhere they told me there'd be one, there wasn't. I kept ringing them back, they kept putting me on hold for hours. They kept hanging up on me because of my Tourette's. And it was just a hellish, hellish Hellish, 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 hellish day. And when I finally got the card, it didn't work. And they had to call in a, a, a gas man to come and change the gas meter, right? Now this gas man looked like an even cuter version of Captain America. You know in anime when like you open the door and someone's literally sparkling? Like there's a, like a sound effect and there's a guy and it's like pink background and hearts in the background. And it's just like, hello, I've come to change your gas meter. It was like that, I was like, Whoa. I didn't think he was actually gonna come because he came like two hours or so later than the people on the phone said that he was gonna arrive, but holy hell, did I fuck? Did I fuck, did I fuck, and I fucked. What? He was really tall, he was really pretty, and normally I don't really take that in because I'm a demisexual and I don't care how people look. Holy hell, did I Oh, did I, did I check out his ass? But in this situation, it was more the way he behaved that intrigued me. Did I? I don't know. I have a really shit memory, but he was kind of pretty. So maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Did I? Thick daddy. Oh, he knew bunny language. He was like interacting with Anya and Peter in the perfect way. He knew all the things to say to bunnies in their own words. Like he did the whole, what? He did the whole, um, Put your hand out, let them sniff you first. Then if they stay forward and stay engaged, then you can stroke them. And then like, you sit near them, but you don't make too much eye contact because it freaks prey animals out and stuff like that. He knew all the bunny language and I was like, you know, you know how to respect a bun? Can you respect my buns? And he was very respectful and he was very kind about my Tourette's and he did not give a shit. Did anything funny happen with the guy? I stayed away from him because he was bent over a lot. Um, I did tell him that God didn't love him. I did tell him I'd fucked the queen. I told him that I'd do very inappropriate things with his grandma. Things I won't repeat. Uh, 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 and I could tell he was trying not to laugh and he was really smooth with it too. Like even when he was taken aback. I noticed, um, <laughs> I noticed that he cleared his throat whenever I had a tick. I have a stinky suspicion that's why his, his way of hiding a laugh. <laughs> and he started getting talking to me and he was very curious about my setup and he asked me straight up are you a streamer and i didn't want to say because he'd been to my house and i didn't want to get doxxed <laughs> he was like so what do you do because he looked in here and he was like might you be a streamer and i was like you've been in my house like fuck am i telling you i he fixed the thing i said i'm really sorry i can't stop and chat because i have to get on um, with the stuff I do, the mystery stuff I don't want to confirm or deny that I get up to in this room. So he was like, okay, I won't keep you. And I sat here and I was like, I'm so sorry I'm late, guys. At least I had a good view, but I was late because there was a, someone fixing my, uh, my gas meter. And uh, he heard me complimenting him outside my front door because he hadn't left yet. And he slipped his phone number on a little card through my door. Oh. That scared the shit out of me. I thought he was still here. I was like, I definitely let him out, right? Cause like, he's just stood there listening to me go, hmm, did I check out his ass? I don't know. <laughs> so I sat with that card and didn't want to do anything about it because I was just like, this is not a good idea. Firstly, the first thing I thought, right? Pretty guy, puts his number through the door. This duck, he's a slut. He, he's a slut. 
so easy, right? So, uh, fuck, he, so the first thing I thought was that maybe he might do this often and that I, um, I don't particularly want to get involved with someone and be like part of some harem. So I, I was cautious and I was like, no, I'm not going to do anything about this. And I put the card up my ass, right up there. Wow, up there? I put it I put it in the cupboard next to the gas meter in case there are any more problems. So yeah, that was that was all nice and everything, but then I was thinking to myself, this dude is like, I don't really believe in, in leagues, but in the easiest way to explain it is this dude is out of my league. Like there is no way that I could, I could, just, just don't even try. And then I got really drunk with my friends and woke up on my couch with the gas man's number on the desk next to my phone. And I was like, no, no, no. And I looked at my messages and I'd said hello. And it was a really casual, com like calm conversation. It wasn't flirty at all or anything like that. Um, I was like, I like your tits, you wanna come over? It was like, hi, thank you so much for being understanding about my tics. It was really nice to meet you. Um, I hope you got home safe or some, you know, innocuous bullshit like that. And he replied and he was like, don't worry about it. You seem like a really charming person. So what is it that you do? And I was like, well, don't tell anyone, but I might stream. And we had like a really normal conversation. I was like, holy shit, my social skills are on point. Even when I'm drunk, I didn't know this about me. Like, I feel like I leveled up like plus 10 charisma. I was like, fucking hell. Yeah, I rock this shit, right? And, um, yeah, so that happened. And, um, then I spent the next few days like, I should not pursue this. I can't pursue this. Any updates on the gas man? I have no updates for you about the app. About, about the gas man. Like, he seems really nice, but how do I, like, ask him? How do I, like, how do I take this off the phone and into the world? Like, up any updates on the gas man? <laughs> No, there is no updates on the gas man, I'm sorry. I wish I had more interesting news. What if I really do want to get to know this person? What if he's really cool? How will I know unless I take him somewhere and give him the food? So like, I was like, how do I give him the food? Why wouldn't you be able to ask people on dates? I'm a bitch and I should feel like a bitch. Because I'm frightfully human and insecure at times and I don't feel like I am, like, enough. Sometimes I go, wow, that is an amazing human and I totally don't deserve that one. Moving on. And the minute I asked my Discord, how'd you go on a date? They, I started getting hate mail, so I shut up about it. You know what everyone advises me now that I stream? They're like, if you get a boyfriend, tell no one. If you're dating, don't talk about it. Like, when I started talking to my friends about, oh, I got a date, I actually did the thing. They're like, tell no one. And I was like, I don't really know if I want to do that. And that's why I was open about it when I asked Discord. I was like, how do I ask someone on a date? And I did not expect the response I got, to be fair. Like, people were really, like, mean. And I got a few messages from regular people that I'd been chatting with on Discord and they turned from Hey, how are you doing? How's Anya doing? What you been up to today? To BITCH! You're gonna get what's coming to you! Over nothing! And I was just like, oh, whoa, this sucks. But like, the way I feel about it is fuck it, you know? The people who are here for the right reasons are gonna stay. And to hell with everyone else. I don't need any fuckboys in my chat. Or in my cunt. Or in my sandwich. I really liked this guy. I was so impressed by him at first, and I thought, you know what? Even if it just ends in friendship, I I don't I don't want it this just to be a passing encounter. I would love to get to know this person. In the end, I just went so. You know what? I think you're a really lovely person. I'd love to get to know you a little better. Would you like to come? back down to my town and maybe go exploring in some caves and try some food and i sent the message it took me about a day and a half to work up the courage i'd never asked anyone ever bitch and i fucked him i asked him and he 
said yes after a really long time and I was like I'm an idiot why did I ask him no one's gonna I have Tourette's like no one's gonna no one would date me why did I ask him on a date and then ping he said yes and I was like holy shit I did the thing and I kept ticking on the stream I did the thing because I was like I fucking did the thing right I did it I, I actually fucking did the thing, right? I was so happy. I checked on the, um, some of the VODs and I could tell the time frame when I had just asked the gas man out on a date and he said yes and it took me so much courage. I was like so terrified and never asked anyone on a date before and I was like, I did the thing! And I actually had that tick for a little while as a tick. I was like, I did the thing! I'm learning about dick. I did the thing. I did the thing. I did the thing. I did the thing. I fucked the cat. So it's become a dick cat. <laughs> uh, I have. I've given myself the dick. I think I had that tick for days. I was like, I did the thing, right? So, we met up. It was really fun. We sat in a cave, we talked, we looked at the sea, we ate. We went up into this really beautiful garden cliff and we watched the, the, the sunset and there was rainbows and then we went back to mine and we played Apex and it was really fun and I thought he was really lovely and I was like, wow, I did the thing and it, it actually went fucking well and he seems nice and I was like, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself here and I kind of felt like, this is lovely, but you know, just like, don't get ahead of yourself, make a friend. That's what you should do. First aim, make a friend. That's level one. And it may never go beyond that, but you've done the thing, right? And that was my attitude, yeah? Yeah, I could see how it's tough to know whether or not you like someone over a meal, or by going to a movie at a cinema, or, for example, having them show up at your house to repair your boiler. And a tail will need to wing. Stop it, Trev! Stop, stop, stop it! Okay. And I started playing some games with him every now and again. And that was nice. And it was really friendly. And he was a good dude, right? But then one day, his message he messaged me and he was like, um, my friend deleted all the messages and blocked your number. Um, I'm really sorry. Is this you? I'm pretty sure this is you. And I was like, yeah, this is this is me. Um is everything okay? And he was like just not responding at all all of a sudden. And I was like, "Oh, okay." And for a few days, nothing was said. And then I told my my personal trainer about it, and he was like, "I think this friend has also blocked you here let me message him so he messaged him proper wingman personal trainer i've got going on right and uh he unblocked me apologized and said when we go on our when we go on our second meetup i'll tell you all about it so <laughs> this is where it goes downhill how he turned out to be just like Captain Douchebag. He messages me in the middle of the night to say, I'm at a strip club and I'm not paying these hookers because nobody should get paid for doing practically nothing. And I was like, Huh, what? And he, then he was like, you know what, if you feel comfortable, no pressure, but maybe we could get you a dance. And I was like... What? I don't, I don't do that shit. Um, so I told my PT and I was like, isn't that weird? He seemed so nice. And he was like, I bet you anything. There is a girlfriend or an ex or somebody in his life and he and they texted you that to make you scarper. I bet he, that wasn't him and I was like I don't know if that's better. <laughs> I think that's worse because that means there's someone else, right? So um I carry on talking to him and I try to clarify whether or not that was actually him making the offer or not. It was him. The dude legit boasted about shortchanging hookers and invited me to come out and do it with him. Right? At this point I was like, oh, this guy's definitely 
just a friend and maybe not even like how do I how do I ghost this guy how do I just 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 now right and then uh, two days later he's like so when are we gonna go when are we go to go gonna go to the next date when are we gonna go to the next date right and I'm like huh I'm, I'm kind of busy this weekend but uh yeah and um, then the next day, he's like, would you like to play Apex? And I was like, I guess. Um, and I was awkwardly thinking, just like, how do I escape this now? And uh, the, the next day, I get a message from his girlfriend. The gas man exploded. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to read it to you guys. Hi Anita, I'm contacting you because I think you might have the right to know. My name is this and I'm that guy's girlfriend. We've been in a relationship since February this year. I'm the one who blocked your number even though I know he told you it was a friend. I found your messages and confronted him on this date and I moved out of the house we both lived in. And on this date he contacted me to apologize and beg my forgiveness, which he told me it was a stupid mistake and he wanted to get back together. He then came up to see me and spent the night on this date where we decided to get back together and he promised he hadn't met up with you or and never wanted to talk to you again. Now those dates are actually two days after he met up with me <laughs> for the first time. Um, so like, yeah, throughout talking to me every night, he was still mating with his girlfriend. Um, he swore he'd never speak to me again, and he kept talking to me. I met him in this town since Friday afternoon for the weekend, and he asked me on a little romantic getaway, so we can get back to normal. Which is when I found your messages with him. So whilst he was still talking to me and inviting me to strip clubs, he was asking her on a romantic getaway. Yeah, there's 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 more, but we don't need to disclose their personal shit. I do not I do not care. I'm out. Like, I basically explained to her the whole situation. I'm like, I am so sorry. She went for the sake of my relationship. Could you stop messaging messaging my boyfriend, please? And I was like, really, really sure. And I explained to her, I'd actually lost interest because he invited me to a strip club where he'd been like, you know, shortchanging hookers. So I I'm kind of glad that, you know, I have an excuse to back the fuck up now. But just so you know, he did me up with me um, and he seemed very keen and he's been trying to arrange a second date this whole time. <laughs> like right up until the time you messaged me. <laughs> yeah, it's... It the gas man is old news. <laughs> He's long gone. I did message him and say, I have spoken to your girlfriend. Please fuck my kitten. Go on. Please never message me again. Um, I really hope that one day you become a better man and stop being the kind of guy that women try to forget. But it's, it's cool. Like, at least I found out one day in. <laughs> and I know that I can ask people out on dates now. So yeah, I know that he watches these, so dude, if you're watching, I really am grateful that you showed me that I can seduce hot men just by being awkward near them and offering them food. That's great. That means they stand a chance of not being single someday. Um, I don't appreciate being lied to. Um, get the fuck out of my chat and never come back and learn to respect women. And don't you dare hurt that girl again. But I did like put oh, like a special message to his girlfriend. Sounds like someone needs to seduce the gas man's girlfriend Anita Wink. Yeah, you know who you are, sweetheart. And you know what? Lady, you probably are never gonna watch my stream. You probably feel very jealous and threatened by me because I nearly accidentally stole your man. And I'm very sorry about that. He's is he, you don't have anything to worry about in that respect. He's all yours. But should you ever decide that you want to be treated with respect, or should you ever need to escape that dude and live somewhere else for a bit, my door is open, you have a friend, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you've been treated like shit, and I'm here for you. Just like, hey, if you ever feel, you know, like you don't want to get treated really badly and disrespected anymore, you're welcome to come over and, uh, get to know me, because I certainly know how to respect a woman. In her fetch. Huh. And that's it. No more gas man. And hopefully, 
no more fucking hate mail from people I thought were friends. I was kind of more excited about the fact that I proved to myself that my disability wasn't as much of an obstacle as I thought it was, and that people might like me upon first meeting me, you know, that I might actually make a good impression despite offering to fist them and stuff, and, you know, I, huh, I kind of, like, I just, I've come away actually feeling much more confident now than I was before, because I was like, this dude is out of my league. This dude would never like me. Why am I doing this? Why am I even chancing this? This is such a dumb idea. And then when I got going, I was like, fuck yeah. I can do this shit. <laughs> so I've still come away feeling like, yeah, when I find someone who's lovely, I'm gonna be much more confident making my feelings known. Um, and I, I'm lucky enough that I didn't get particularly attached to the dude. Um, I didn't really know him, so I have nothing to mourn, and I have nothing to feel bad about. I feel a little bit worried for this girl, but apart from that, I feel pretty fine.